Welcome back guys, this is Jeffrey with Android Fragments. Before teaching about Android EA design and widgets and how to work with the widgets, I think teaching about frag Android Fragments is good for you to learn design beautifully. Let's go for Fragments. Fragments are used to design a flexible design and dynamic UI. Mm -hmm. design philosophy see so, yeah. here for tablet in the two screens or in the same screen for a mobile we can display the list here on list details let's think about this is a list and this is a list of details let's think or uh, index index details in the tablet in the same activity we can show both for in the smaller device mobile, we can show a list in our screen on the details in the on the screen. To achieve this, we are using fragments. This is a fragment life cycle. On create, on create, on post, etc. etc. Adding a user interface. Let me show you how to add fragments in the A. Yeah. For that, I have added one tab here so that you can see the difference also I'm going to take a mirror of my access 5x through the Google app by so here I will take connected Nexus 5x okay it's, oh, it's connected and password okay cool just a little minimize it then I will go to here I'm going to add a new login activity. Activity, uh, not this login activity, empty activity. Let's say this is login activity. Okay, we are having login fragment here and login activity here. So, what I'm going to do is here I'm going to add one frame layout. With a match pattern, match pattern. And the frame layout the ID is <coughs> a main container which is going to be used here. And it, I'm going to create fragments for that I'm going to create package to easy of use I'm going to create a java class for login this is a login fragment and one more for registration fragments okay cool if it's a class it's a fragment we need to extend fragment okay. so I'm just I'm going to create a EA for login fragment mm, I will take relative layout and run, run. okay okay here I'm going to have two text input layouts. Oops. Something alpha. Oops. Let me check and go. Let me go to under high. Oh, we need to uh, Android support. Okay. We need to uh, design fiber to our object, our project. Yeah. 
and version 23.2.1 the latest one okay we want synchronize or oh, spell the successful then we can go to go here then type text into cloud here yes match pad then wrap content and add on edit text here match pad and wrap content and our android hint here something we are getting okay go to values strings and add a new resource string username okay clear catches And then again we need one more for password then again one more edit text to end that password <laughs> okay then the ID then the same same here yeah, for username And we need one more button for login. Okay, I'll take normal button. We need to align those things. Username, password. Okay, I will align username to Sandra or something. Something went wrong. Missing string is the correct thing, so okay, use the thing. Okay, let me see. Mm. Android. Send code or something. True. Center and parent to is a name game here. Then I will ask in the Android below layout below to the username layout. Good to go. Then we need to add. add Sorry, 
We need a little source for password. Here it's noticing text is uh, ID is a password, but text input type is a text. So just alt enter or input type attribute to text password. Right. Then username. Then assign on create on create view it will. Here we are inflating our lab click here means inflator dot inflator dot layout dot content underscore gain is our login of our in to build okay let me see container comma false attached to root okay create 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 okay import www what is our package name com dot example okay example dot job yeah my first application dot or actually it's giving let's try to build okay okay now it's get filled and now you can import a class then the thing I have my application dot or okay on view creator once view is created we are going to create objects for the input layouts on native text fields oh, sorry for the button okay then here we have to go for username layout equal to text input layout view dot find view by id or dot id upside Gantam to login, username and we have to login button. Okay, I'll just copy and paste it for password layout. And for username, edit text. Find view by ID. ID dot user. Oh, sorry. Password. Text. View dot find view by ID. Then we are left with the login button. Work button. We have to cast appropriate widget. Okay, cool. 
then let me show you how to attach this login fragment to a activity okay here we are having the activity login which is having the fragment which is our main container let's go to developer the robot fragment this way you can add the fragments directly to your layer but we really no need this one I'm going with the fragment manager first we are creating this one fragment transaction we put the class from a support v4 good class oops oh something went wrong fragment manager actually from then we are from oops sorry Okay. Then again. It's finished. Here we are going to make the login. Login or container is main container. Here actually we need to use support v4 fragments as the program we are having fragment manager support v4 then not get fragment manager get support fragment manager. then here we go to go with the support v4 and main container we are adding the login fragment just uh, before we are going after flashing splash screen we need to start Login activity, not main activity. Fuck, go. Okay, we are having splash screen and our login screen. Okay, guys, it's already having more than 15 minutes. I will continue through the spot too. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.